Good morning. About two weeks ago, I uh, published a, a blog on how to uh, do concrete work out in the front yard. And I gotta be honest with you guys, it was a total fail. <laughs> Never used quick creek to uh, in lieu of a mortar because it's, it's just gonna crumble. Especially the way I did it, I uh, I used to the sand first, and then I I put a, a wet cement mix on top of it, so it crumbled. Anyway, let me show you what I uh, what I use. I use this uh, quick creek uh, repair mortar right here that I bought from Lowe's. Uh, I think that was only seven dollars, but. Uh, I made a mistake and following the instructions, I, I used all of it. I poured 10 fluid ounces of water in here. I went ahead and closed it and then I kneaded it per, in it, per the instructions. And uh, I couldn't close it any, anymore so I couldn't preserve the, the mix uh, liquidy or the pliable mortar inside. It hardened into a stone. It's like a rock now, so I can't use it no more. I paid seven dollars. Uh, lesson learned. I paid seven dollars for something that uh, I couldn't use fully. I used about maybe a, a quarter of it, and I paid seven dollars for that. Lesson learned. Instead of uh, hiring a, a mason to repair my concrete work. Now, it's gonna be totally hot here in Sacramento. Now for the smaller cracks, I went to Home Depot and bought this mortar repair. And boy, this, this was very easy. Um, I had a hard time putting this on that uh, tube uh, pusher, but you know, after I used it, it was very easy. I wonder if I can use this again because it's it hardened now. That's why I'm wrapping in the plastic, uh, you know, per some YouTube instructions that I, I watch. I gotta wrap this tightly in, in, in plastic or one of those uh, cling wrap over here so that it won't harden. Uh, I can re reuse it again. Uh, this part right here is it, hard, but maybe I can, you know, use uh, something to poke a hole there and the inside will still be pliable. Okay, we'll see. Now, let me show you what the. Uh, the the results of this fourth attempt and I'm very happy that to show you that because I I deem it's a success thank you okay that's what I did and, and it's it's uh, it's a success and that's all the vertical uh, repair that I did also see the the colorization is different from the old one but uh, as time goes on it, it will look the same now for the tube I use uh, I use uh, that to repair the, those little cracks like that see and in fact there's still a little crack there I might have to dab some more on top of that and this was a little crack too but not as much but uh, I'm happy it turned out all right. I mean, you know, if you look from afar, you won't even notice it. But I'm very happy with the mortar repair mix that I, I use for that. Okay, I, I use it over here too, and I use it on that. The joints over there. See, the colorization is different. But as time goes on, it's, it's gonna be the same. So I'm very happy. I'm gonna use that from now on for the small cracks. Oh, I also use it to uh, uh, do a quick fix on the on the concrete. I don't know if it's gonna work. I might need to buy a concrete uh, mix. Let me show you. Uh, there you go. I, I fixed that little crack on the concrete over there. But uh, that should be enough for now. I'll buy me a concrete. Uh, mix to fully, fully repair that. I don't think the motor is going to last. I'm not sure. 
July 4th is coming up.